Tailing associations and community leaders met at Maponya Mall in Clipsprate this morning following a clash between taxi drivers and e-hailing drivers outside the mall last night. The video is circulated on social media showing light motor vehicles being vandalized in satellite in what looks like an attack. Now it is reported that at least two people were injured during the incident. E-hailing associations and drivers together with community members met earlier today at the Maponya Mall parking lot to discuss the brutal attack on e-hailing drivers that took place last night at Maponya Mall. They demand answers into what really happened at yesterday's attack on e-hailing drivers at the mall. Yesterday there was an incident where some of our vehicles were bent uh, inside here. We're still investigating as to who exactly is responsible for it. We've been crying for too long. The MMC, MMC that was there, Mama Bolo, we thought that it would carry us through and unfortunately was moved. And Nukiribon, we're not sure if she's going to be able to do it as well. Because Tina, as now, as now, the crack of an eye, men power, which he made us, don't see palm or is funny in cabin and as now, la Matala. So he doesn't doesn't allow, but you saw Mataya Rekar Zetu. Different leaders from the e hailing association and the center management for Maponya Mall together with the JMPD and other different stakeholders have come together to set up a meeting that will discuss an amicable solution to deal with all the issues that are affecting the drivers and to deal with the issues that happened yesterday. We have engaged with Uber Bolt in terms of your head office, what they've done, I think in terms of safety they've blocked out everything to say everyone will go at the front gate. But the engagement that we're going to have today, they are going to deal with all of that. Because on our side, we said, even now I'm still saying, our door is still open for everyone to be able. Remember, Maponya Mall is for everyone. In that meeting, decisions will be made. Those decisions will be communicated to you. After that meeting, we will meet with you and we'll tell you exactly. The people that you nominated will be with us. And then after that, we'll decide what is the way forward. We do have a word from Ntlanta Lags who gave us his opinion on the whole matter to try and come up with an amicable solution to what happened at Maponya Mall yesterday. The only person that was shot last night happens to be, not, has nothing to do with Uber, has nothing to do with the taxi industry. So why are we having a person at Bara Hospital that's lying there uh, fighting for their lives? For what? For something they don't know? So we are here to, to guarantee and remind everyone that they can bully each other in corners. I don't, I don't care what association. So where are we going to do the right thing or otherwise get out of Soweto and, and find and seek an environment where you can do an anarchy? Drivers of the e-hailing industry are now even more fearing of not only their jobs but their livelihoods because most are using the cars as a means to provide for their families. An investigation has been opened by the police in a mission to find the perpetrators of this horrific incident. For Soweto TV News, I am Zweli Banzi Mazibugo.